Hello, it's Mark from vanandboat.com. Had one of these Chinese diesel heaters fitted for about four months now, and it's been working perfectly over the winter, but I went to use it uh, about a week or so ago, and I was getting an awful lot of black smoke, and it was coming up with an error message 008. Tried restarting it a couple of times, and it wouldn't, wouldn't fire up, and then got a, an error 10. Tried a number of different things. I've disconnected the fuel pump, and I then tried to start the, the machine a number of times. It wouldn't start at all because it was uh, registering that the pump wasn't connected at all. So I then reconnected the pump and disconnected the fuel supply. And I thought that would then uh, purge any of the diesel that was uh, in the machine because I was assuming that it was just flooded. Um, but that didn't work either. So I've now taken it out of the van and it's on the workbench. So the first thing we've got to do is take all the plastic covers off. That's relatively straightforward. First thing we can do is take this end piece off and we'll get the screwdriver. You can see there's a little gap there. Push the screwdriver in and then just prise the end off. Mine was very, very easy. Uh, you might find that you just need to push these little pins down um, with a, a point, maybe a bradle or something. Uh, but on the mine, just pulled off nice and easily. I should add, this is the two kilowatt, a genuine two kilowatt one. Uh, this is out the camper van, uh, much smaller than the five kilowatt one that I've got installed in the boat. Next, we're going to take the other end off. That's this end here. Pull that off, nice and easy. Top cover, two little clips. Lift those up, and once again, the top comes off. Again, nice and easy. Next thing we're going to do is take the mounting plate off the bottom. As you can see, I've already undone three of the nuts. We've just got one more. We've got here a 10 millimeter socket and put that on my driver there. And then we'll take this last nut off again. Nice and simple. Same with the other three. And then this plate will come straight off. Okay, there's a little rubber gasket underneath, but again, pull that off. Okay, we can then sit the heater back on the, uh, the exhaust and the air intake. Next thing we're going to do is take this little screw out here. Put that in the bit holder. Okay, so we're going to take this one out here. And then what I've found is there's a little cable that we have to disconnect because it's not long enough. Just don't want to lose that. Not long enough to lift this off with this one connected. So this little white plug here, just gently pull that off. Push these two pins in, and then this entire electrical box, a bit of persuasion, will come off. And lift that over like so, being careful not to pull on any of the wires. Next thing we've got to do is remove the whole burner assembly from the plastic casing. This cable here, we just pull that out a little slot, and then with a little bit of persuasion, I hold on to the hold on to the, the, the metal as opposed to the fan there. And we can gently pull the whole burner assembly out of the plastic casing. A little bit tricky, sometimes the exhaust gets caught, but we can then pull that off and careful not to damage the wires and put that out of the way. So we've now got the bare heater with the wiring and the motor attached and we've removed that completely now from all of the plastic casing. Next thing I'm going to do is undo these four bolts. I'm going to sit the heater on its end and then we will find the right bit to undo those four bolts. Okay. Not that one, I'm going to go for a slightly smaller one. Okay, so this one fits. And we're then going to undo those four. It's always a good idea to do them diagonally because you're then taking the, uh, the stress off of the casting. It's even more important when you're doing them up again. That's the first one. And then we'll do this one over here. And then we're going to do this one over here. Let's put my bit back on. There we 
OK, and leave that in there a second. And we'll do this one on the other side. OK, move that away. And we've then got this last one here. Just take that out. So once we've got our four bolts out, this whole assembly will now very, very carefully lift off. Now you can see that the gasket has uh, failed, it's broken up as I've taken it apart. So that will need to be replaced before we can put these uh, back together. So the next thing we've got to do is remove the glow plug. That's quite straightforward and pull this rubber grommet back here. I'm then going to disconnect the electrical connector. So just push this little tab down and that will then pull off like so. We're then going to get a spanner. We have got a I believe it's 12, yeah, 12 millimeter spanner. I'm just going to sit that on the glow plug just down there. Okay. Okay, we'll try and spin that round. I did actually loosen this just before I started recording, but you can see exactly where we're removing it. Okay, we'll try and undo that, trying not to twist the cable, trying just to turn the glow plug itself. We'll undo that. And then we can remove the glow plug, like so. We then need to remove these three bolts. First one. Okay, we'll do the second one down here. I'm guessing I'm going to have to replace the second gasket as well, so we shall see. And we've got our third one there. Let's undo that one. And then we'll do that by hand. Keep these separate uh, to the other three because they are actually a different length. They're slightly uh, shorter than the first three. And then this whole assembly will pull straight out like so. And as you can see, it is very, very dirty. It's full of carbon and you can see quite a lot of unburnt fuel. So the next thing we need to do is to give this a really, really, really thorough, thorough clean.